Now, so it's three weeks to the day since you signed for us now. How are you settling in? Yeah, brilliant. Um, lads are, are class, staff are brilliant and um, we've had a good week so far. Uh, so we're just looking forward to the game tomorrow. How much is coming away to a camp like this really help you to bed in? Yeah, it does quite a lot actually because obviously it's quite intense. You are obviously on top of each other for obviously the majority of the week which is when you're, you're training in between and eating and stuff like that. So yeah, it is good. It's good to get to know each other. Do you learn a lot more about your teammates when you're in an environment like this than you would, you know, a normal training ground environment? Uh, yeah, definitely because like we're having breakfast together, we're having lunch, we're having dinner, we're training, we're walking down to the pitches and all that kind of stuff. So we're always constantly chatting and um, recovering and whatever together. So yeah, we do get like a lot of time to chat and, and kind of catch up and whatnot, yeah. A lot of the players have been speaking about the talks they've been doing and evening meetings. I mean, mm. that must take you to a whole new level in terms of getting to know each other. Yeah, there's been some unbelievable stories that have been like told and like hats off to the lads that have shared so much as well. They've kind of really let their guard down. Um, as such and made themselves a little bit vulnerable I guess in a way to kind of share some of the things that they did but yeah hats off to them and it takes a lot of um, like courage and, and, and braveness to do so. What sort of effect does that have on you as a player to you know look to your side and see a, see a teammate going through what the, whatever they may be going through does that give you an extra bit of motivation? Yeah yeah 100% obviously you, everything that you do you do for yourself and if you can, if you do it for yourself and you, you achieve what you want to do, you know you're helping the person next to you, you're not letting them down or yourself down. So if you can drag yourself through it and make sure that your mates come with you, you know that you're not going to let them down. And as you said there, like the, the things that they have in their family and, and their friends and things like that that have happened over the years or happening now even still, if you can help give them the, the success that they really want, it's, it's, a, it's an added bonus. On the training pitches, you've been worked really hard, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that was probably one of the lightest, lighter sessions of the week. But yeah, it's, it's been tough and the heat is is next level. Is it what you expected? I knew it was going to be uh, hot, but not this hard. It's quite humid as well. So obviously we're sweating buckets and right, literally from, the, from as soon as you wake up, we're going out doing the 5Ks and that. But it's been tough, but enjoyable in a weird way. You, you can't not enjoy working hard. I think it's... Oh, I do anyway, I'm a bit, maybe a bit weird like that, but yeah, when you work hard, you, you quite enjoy it and the feeling you get after, obviously legs are in bits, but you know, come Sunday after the game, when we get that, that day off and we're travelling back, it all it will be worth it. Have you had many pre-season camps like this one? Uh, not abroad, but I've had one back home in England and that was horrific. This is top of the horrificness scale. Um, the amount of, like we were talking to Ross, like the, the distances that we've covered and high intensity and the sessions we've done have been have been unbelievable. And the boys, like I've, I've not been on the same programme as them obviously in the off season, but they've come back so fit um, and it's been nice to work with them and be on that level where, where they're at. And everyone knows the manager likes the team to be able to play at high intensity. So this is where it'll really, this work now will pay off during the season, you're hoping? Yeah, if we can do it in 30 degrees and... <laughs> In South of Spain, and yeah, I think we'll we'll be uh, we'll be right when it's cold and wet in, in the winter, November, December time at back home. Match day tomorrow, then. How much are you looking forward to getting some more match fitness into the legs? Yeah, that's that's probably the main thing that we're looking for. Obviously, we played Matlock last week. Uh, we need more minutes, more match minutes, more match fitness, uh, sharpness. We kind of get those movements back into your body and and playing, and getting used to how each other play. Obviously, for me personally, playing with um, the defenders and midfielders that are in front of me and, and the boys, just getting used to like playing styles, how the manager wants to play, and, and different patterns of playing and things like that. So we worked a little bit on that during the week, and I'm looking forward to uh, kind of yeah, as you said, putting it into practice on Saturday.